And from that advice to the reality, when so few people got the last COVID booster, how many will get this one? WBZ's Laura Haithley picks up our team coverage from Waltham, where she's asking how vigilant people are willing to be now to protect themselves. It's grocery stores like this where people were willing to adhere to those strict COVID-19 guidelines at the beginning of the pandemic. The question is, would people be willing to adhere to those same rules and regulations four years later? With the resurgence of COVID-19 clusters across Massachusetts, neighbors are questioning if hospitals, grocery stores and schools could implement COVID-19 protocols once again. I've seen more people masked here. I'm not going to go into an establishment that's going to force me to wear a mask. Carrie James was pregnant during COVID and worries about her young son. My son actually has autism. But if schools shut down again, my son will have a major regression. Carrie's neighbor, Judy, works inside of a local school, concerned about her young students, too. We have definitely had more COVID where I work. I agree with masking up. Masks protect other people more than you. We spoke directly to a current COVID positive patient, concerned for his future if numbers continue to rise. I, I work in an environment where there were a lot of COVID positive people. John Ellis was scheduled to receive a booster shot last week, but was advised against it. But because unfortunately, I had a cancerous tumor removed from my bladder. Ellis was forced to reschedule a round of chemo because of his positive test, something he says could have been avoided. If numbers are on the rise, I think it's everyone's responsibility to, you know, at the very least, wear masks. It doesn't take much to be a hero sometimes. We did reach out to grocery stores, including Shaw's and Trader Joe's. They did not immediately get back to us. In Waltham, Laura Haefeli, WBZ News.